What is up guys? Um, as you can probably tell we have a new camera and a new episode. Basically, I basically want to go over what I went through a couple of months ago playing this. Jesus Christ. It was like playing Mortal Kombat. The movement, I mean, I, was, I see it's Acclaim who are literally responsible for publishing uh, Mortal Kombat. But the style was exactly the same. It was like one long street serangey beat them up all the way through. Um, the graphics were pretty terrible, but then they would look better on the SNES. But it plays faster on the Genesis, so... I say Genesis, but we know it's like Mega Drive. Um, Review-wise, it weren't a bad game, but there were points where there were no clues. I know it's like the Riddler, but there were no clues about where the other enemies are. You literally have to hunt the enemies down to progress further in the level. I mean, I was on the circus uh, level when they do the show, and I spent nearly an hour and a half wandering around. You might have seen the stream, trying to find why the bloody doors in the ceiling wouldn't open. And it turns out there were two enemies just fucking below me the entire time, and I had no idea. I hunted every nook and cranny, and all I had to do was just hit down on the D-pad. Oh, Jesus. Overall, the last boss was a bit of a bitch to kill. Um, turns out you got to hit him in the back, despite the fact it's really sod for him to turn around if you actually even hit him in the back when he comes down. But I did, you don't see any of that in the film. You don't see a giant Edward Nigma in a big white suit come and attack you. I thought like killing him in the last phase would be easy. Uh, it's marked on this bottom bit here, I'm not sure you can see that. Um, and the sound quality, the, vo the voice quality was kind of terrible as well. And some of the guys had the worst fucking names in the world. The, boss, the bosses or the enemies. Oh, um, yeah, I'm not playing that again. <laughs> I will do, however, I want to get onto this classic bad boy. Strider. Oh, quick fact. Chinchy Strider got his name from this game. Um, I remember playing the first one of this, never actually, I played the, actually the second one, which is the US Gold version, the official one came out on the PlayStation, the second one, but US Gold did a sequel of their own. Um, my cousin uh, Robin had a Game Gear at the time, and he got it for his birthday, it was called Strider Returns I think, and it was a sod of a game just to get past the second level. I recently did, but then my wife told me to turn it off because the buttons are making too many noise next to her whilst watching Strictly, so <laughs> uh, they get very far on that. But we will play this after we have completed Strider 1. So, um, Hiru, the youngest yet most able Strider, has been chosen by his elders to stop the Grand Master Mio, if I've mispronounced that right, it's M-E-I-O, from making the Earth his private playground. Use Falcon, is it Falcon? Correct me again if I'm wrong. The plasma sword at Hero's cat-like and sorry, I'm dyslexic. And Hero's cat-like movement to swing through jungles, scale snow-capped mountains, board every warrior ship, warship, <laughs> and finally ascend to the Supreme Tower for the final confrontation. I mean, the 16-bit era did actually hold some decent graphics and decent games, and this is why I hold them to them the most. I mean, there are some PlayStation games which were also good, but the 16-bit era and the 8-bit. Probably holds a strong fun to me because obviously when we're all young and we were around that time, we all loved them. We like swapping them at uh, school, well, I say lending each other games and that. And it was generally the platformers that were just the constant game of it, wasn't it? It was generally a platformers of everything you would ever play on a 16 bit, apart from when the sports games like FIFA and um, Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat clones came along. So, next video, we'll be playing this. We we're recording it as far as I can, um, and if we can't get as much footage as we can, I'll uh, emulate it and put the footage up whilst we're doing the review. So, Batman Forever, more like Batman Never. It's terrible. Oh, as you may have noticed, I have got a new camera. Uh, the Samsung chose not to power up one day, and it appears to be a motherboard issue. I've got a Sony Cybershot now, um, I think the HC300. But I'm looking to get a Canon. If you want to help me out, please donate on my Twitter page. I believe it's Shawnee C or Shawnee Shawnee C. It could be just Shawnee C. So hit the donate button if you can and help me raise the funds for the Canon camera because I would love to have that, just like CD does. Um, I'll see you in the next episode. I've waffled on too long.